On Nova Terra, a verdant exoplanet where humanity has resettled, nestled in a distant star system far from the reaches of the Galactic Council. Five centuries after Earth's tragic destruction, the remnants of humanity have forged a new society, blending old Earth traditions with the necessities of their new world. Captain Miles Donovan, known among the fleet for his tenacity and unyielding courage, stands at the helm of Nova Terra's defense fleet, charged with safeguarding the planet from potential threats. During a routine inspection of artifacts salvaged from the ruins of Earth's lunar base, Miles stumbles upon an ancient star map encrypted within a seemingly mundane data crystal. The map, complex and detailed, hints at the existence of a sector of the galaxy erased from all known archives post-destruction by the Galactic Council. The rumors among old spacefarers' tales speak of a lost artifact, known only as the Temporal Forge, reputed to have the power to alter time itself, a power that could potentially undo the past or secure the future. Driven by a mixture of curiosity and a deeper, unspoken motivation to connect with Earth's lost heritage, Miles convenes a meeting with his trusted crew aboard their ship, the Reclaimer. The crew, a diverse group of specialists and veterans, share his enthusiasm for discovery and the promise of redemption. They debate the potential dangers of their mission, fully aware that venturing into a sector wiped from the star maps could attract unwelcome attention from the Galactic Council, which remains vigilant against any form of uprising or challenge to their rule. After securing approval from Novaterra's council, under the pretense of a scouting mission for new resources, Miles and his crew set course for the coordinates marked on the ancient star map. The ship is stocked with provisions, weapons, and scientific equipment, prepared for whatever mysteries or adversaries they might encounter in the forgotten reaches of space. The Reclaimer, now deep into uncharted space, nears the coordinates of Earth's former location. The journey through this region is fraught with danger. The void is filled with dense asteroid fields and debris from long-forgotten battles and destroyed worlds, remnants of the catastrophic war that led to Earth's demise. Captain Miles Donovan navigates the ship with a steady hand, his eyes fixed on the sensor arrays flickering with constant alerts. As they approach a particularly dense cluster of asteroids, the ship's alarm blares. An unidentified craft has been detected lurking among the rocks. It's a scavenger vessel, notoriously known for preying on explorers and looters of space relics. Miles quickly orders the crew to battle stations, knowing that the technology aboard the Reclaimer could offer invaluable spoils to any scavenger bold enough to attack. Rana, his tactical officer, coordinates the ship's defenses, priming the energy shields and arming the plasma cannons. The scavengers make the first move, launching a volley of harpoons designed to tether and reel in their prey. The Reclaimer shakes violently under the impact, but Miles expertly maneuvers through the asteroid field, using the larger rocks as shields against the scavengers' attacks. In a daring move, Miles decides they cannot simply flee. They must confront the scavengers to prevent future pursuits that could jeopardize their mission. He orders a counterattack, and the Reclaimer swings around a massive asteroid to face their assailant head-on. A fierce skirmish erupts, with plasma blasts lighting up the void as both ships weave through the hazardous terrain. Rana expertly manages the ship's weapons, scoring critical hits that disable the scavengers' engines and weapon systems. With the enemy vessel crippled, Miles leads a boarding party, including his security team and engineers, to secure any valuable technology and information. The boarding action is swift and precise. They encounter minimal resistance as most of the scavenger crew opts to surrender rather than fight. Among the salvaged items, the team discovers advanced navigational tech that could enhance the Reclaimer's long-range scanning capabilities, potentially invaluable for avoiding further encounters with the Galactic Council's patrols. Additionally, they find data logs containing information about other scavenger activities in the region, revealing the locations of potentially significant Earth artifacts. With their mission on the scavenger ship complete, Miles orders a full retreat back to the Reclaimer. The crew works quickly to integrate the salvage technology into their systems, enhancing their ship's capabilities. As they leave the asteroid field behind, the mood on board shifts from tense to triumphant. They have not only survived their first major encounter since leaving Nova Terra, but have also gained valuable resources that strengthen their resolve and capability to continue their quest. As the Reclaimer delves deeper into the mysterious sector, the star map reveals an unexpected destination, an uncharted system harboring artificial structures, a secret human colony that had evaded detection by the Galactic Council. 
The revelation sends shockwaves through the crew. This hidden colony might hold the key to understanding more about the lost Earth and the rumored temporal forge. The system, shrouded in a nebula, makes electronic navigation perilous. Miles relies on the recently acquired navigational tech and his pilot's skill to guide them. As they approach the colony, the remnants of human architecture become evident, intermingled with alien technologies that suggest a history of collaboration or coercion. Upon landing, the crew is greeted not by hostility, but by an eerie silence. The colony appears abandoned, yet signs of recent habitation suggest a hasty departure. The team splits into groups to explore, collect data, and search for any remaining inhabitants or clues about their fate. Miles leads a team into the central facility, where they encounter Jonah, an elderly scientist and one of the last survivors of the colony. He reveals that the colony was a secret project initiated during Earth's final days, intended as a haven for humanity's intellectual and cultural preservation. Jonah, aware of the prophecies surrounding the Temporal Forge, had awaited their arrival, guided by the same star map and an ancient duty passed down through generations. Jonah explains that the Temporal Forge is located on a nearby planet, cloaked in dark energy that hides it from the rest of the galaxy. This planet, Viridian III, is protected by old Earth defense systems, which have kept it safe from the Council but also from explorers and salvagers. The Forge, he claims, has the power to reshape reality by manipulating timelines, a power that the Council would desperately want to seize for themselves. The revelation is staggering, but Jonah's condition and the colony's state of abandonment hint at a more sinister presence watching the area. Miles decides that securing the Forge is not just about reclaiming Earth's past, but ensuring no such power falls into the wrong hands. He plans a cautious approach to Viridian III, knowing that the planet's defenses could be as lethal as any enemy they faced. The Reclaimer approaches Viridian III, its lush green surface obscured by swirling clouds of dark energy, remnants of the defense mechanisms designed to protect the planet. The atmosphere aboard the ship is tense, as each crew member understands the potential dangers of their mission and the significant power of the temporal forge that lies hidden on the planet's surface. As they enter the planet's orbit, the ship's sensors detect an array of automated defense satellites, remnants of Earth's forgotten technology, which begin to activate and target the Reclaimer. Miles, using the skills honed through countless skirmishes and the advanced navigational technology salvaged from the scavenger ship, maneuvers the Reclaimer through the gauntlet of satellite fire. Jonah, with his intimate knowledge of the colony's defenses, assists in deactivating several satellites, allowing them a narrower, safer path to the planet's surface. They land in a secluded area near the coordinates Jonah has provided, surrounded by dense forests that offer natural cover from the orbiting defenses. However, the respite is short-lived. Miles and his team detect incoming drones, scouts from a galactic council warship that has been silently monitoring their approach to the planet. Realizing they must reach the temporal forge before the council can mobilize a larger force, Miles organizes a rapid ground assault team. Rana, the tactical officer, suggests using the forest's dense foliage as camouflage, turning the terrain to their advantage. The team disembarks, moving quickly through the towering alien flora. They encounter robotic sentinels, part of the planet's automated defense system, which engage them in intense ground combat. Using guerrilla tactics, the team disables the robots without drawing too much attention, preserving their strength for the anticipated confrontation with the Council's forces. As they reach the entrance to the cavern rumored to house the Temporal Forge, the Council's forces arrive, leading to a siege situation. The team sets up defensive positions around the cavern's entrance, utilizing the narrow passageways and natural rock formations as choke points. Rana coordinates the defense, laying traps and directing fire, while Miles and a small group push forward into the cavern to locate and secure the forge. Inside, the path is fraught with ancient security systems designed to test the worthiness and resolve of those who seek the forge. The team faces physical and psychological challenges, engineered to deter the unworthy or ill-intentioned. Miles, driven by a deep sense of duty and the ghostly memories of Earth, pushes through the trials, his resolve hardened with each step closer to the artifact. Outside, Rana and the rest of the crew manage to hold off the Council's forces but at great cost. The Council deploys heavier reinforcements, and the team's situation becomes increasingly dire. In a desperate bid to buy Miles more time, Rana rigs a series of explosives around the cavern entrance, 
planning a controlled collapse that could block the Council's advance without sealing their only way out. The cavern is bathed in an ethereal glow emanating from the temporal forge. The air is thick with a sense of timelessness, and Miles feels as if he is standing at the very nexus of past and future. As he steps closer, the forge activates, sensing his presence, an intricate network of gears and holographic interfaces coming to life. Inside the cavern, ancient mechanisms awaken, and the forge presents Miles with a series of holographic data streams, each displaying key moments from Earth's history. He sees the beauty of Earth's landscapes, the rise and fall of civilizations, and ultimately, the destruction that led to the creation of the colony on Novaterra. The Forge is offering a choice, to rewind time to before Earth's destruction, or to solidify the safety and future of humanity on Novaterra. Outside, Rana and the crew fight to maintain control of the entrance against the onslaught of the Galactic Council's forces. The explosions have created a temporary barrier, but it won't hold long against the Council's advanced technology. Rana coordinates the crew's defensive tactics, while they anxiously await any sign from Miles. Back inside the cavern, Miles grapples with the Forge's offer. He interacts with the holographic controls, exploring the possibilities each choice presents. The Forge reveals that reversing time could lead to unpredictable consequences, including the potential for even greater disasters. After much deliberation, feeling the weight of his crew's sacrifices, Miles chooses to secure the future of humanity on Novaterra. He realizes that the past, while precious, must sometimes be let go to embrace the certainty and potential of the present. The Forge, respecting his decision, initiates a sequence that enhances Novaterra's defenses and unlocks a trove of archived knowledge and technology from Earth, ensuring the colony's prosperity and security. As the Forge completes its task, it deactivates, indicating that its power can no longer be wielded to alter time. Miles exits the cavern to find Rana and the remaining crew members holding the last line of defense. He signals that the mission is complete, and the crew uses their final reserves to make a strategic retreat back to the Reclaimer. As they race through the forest, the Council's forces, realizing the forge has been deactivated, intensify their pursuit, desperate to capture Miles and his team for any residual knowledge of the artifact. As the Reclaimer speeds away from Viridian III, pursued by the relentless Galactic Council warship, Captain Miles Donovan realizes the stakes have risen. The Council, infuriated by their inability to seize the Temporal Forge, is determined not to let the Reclaimer escape with the advanced technologies now integrated into their systems. Miles knows that the survival of his crew and the safety of Nova Terra hinge on their ability to outmaneuver the Council's forces. Using the enhanced navigational systems obtained from the scavenger ship and the technological advancements from the forge, Miles devises a daring plan to escape the Council's clutches. He directs the Reclaimer towards a dense asteroid field, hoping to use the hazardous environment to their advantage. As they enter the field, the Council warship, commanded by the ruthless Admiral Sarek, follows in hot pursuit. The tension aboard the Reclaimer is palpable. Every crew member knows that the slightest miscalculation could lead to disaster. Rana, now acting as the ship's navigator, carefully plots a course through the asteroids, using their chaotic orbits to create confusion and visual obstruction for the pursuing warship. Miles and his crew navigate the asteroid field with precision, but the Council warship is relentless and continues to gain. As a last resort, Miles orders the deployment of decoy drones to mimic the Reclaimer's energy signature hoping to mislead the warship's sensors. The ruse works momentarily, buying them critical minutes. Just when it seems they might escape, the Council warship launches a barrage of energy missiles, forcing the Reclaimer to take evasive actions. In a breathtaking maneuver, Miles uses the gravitational pull of a large asteroid to slingshot the Reclaimer around, increasing their speed and changing their trajectory unexpectedly. The Council warship, Unable to adjust as quickly, crashes into a massive asteroid, its shields failing under the impact. With the immediate threat neutralized, the Reclaimer clears the asteroid field. However, the victory is bittersweet as Miles and his crew reflect on the close calls and sacrifices made. They transmit their battle data back to Novaterra, warning of the potential for further Council aggression.